Hey guys, it's Leila Klon. I'll be doing the median nerve today. And the mnemonic is cows can always produce really delightful milk. Cows can always produce really delightful milk. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I always start with the root of the nerve and then I go on to the branches and the muscles or um, the skin area that it invades. So do not get confused with the mnemonic. When you learn the mnemonic, if you do learn the mnemonic, then please know that I always start with the root and then I go on to the innervation. All right, so starting with the root, C stands for the chords. So which chords do it, does it come from? So two from the lateral and the medial chords of the brachial plexus. The other C is for the tunnel that it passes. So the median nerve is the only nerve that passes through the carpal tunnel in the hand, which I'll draw it later. Okay, so... Now, when it comes from the cords, it comes from the axilla, of course, because that's what the brachial plexus is. And as it travels down the arm, it travels along with the brachial artery between the briceps brachii, brachii and brachialis, and it enters the cubital fossa. As it enters the cubital fossa, it gives off a branch to, I write one here, to pronata teres. Right. After giving this branch, it continues its way down to the carpal tunnel. But before it reaches the carpal tunnel here, it gives off two branches and that's where we have always produced A and R. So we the carpal tunnel here in the hand and there is a carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a disability that results when the median nerve is being pressed in the carpal tunnel. Okay, and as it reaches the hand, it gives us three branches, and that's our really delightful milk. Okay, this is our root, that's for cow's can, and now we go on to the um, innovation. So, our one's here at two. So, A would be the anterior interosseous branch. Now this branch supplies the deep group of the anterior compartment of the hand, which is the muscles, except, so you should know the deep group of the anterior muscles, except for the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus, then it doesn't supply the flexor carpi ulnaris and nor the pronata quadratus. So apart from these, it supplies the deep group of the anterior compartment of the arm. Then we move on to P. Now our P is the palmar branch so it has to supply the skin sensory innervation to the palm and it does so by giving it to only the lateral aspect of the skin of the palm all right then we move on to our three branches of the carpal tunnel so here we have a really now this is the recurrent branch Okay, and it supplies the thena or thena, I don't know how to pronounce this, compartment. And this is through the recurrent thena branch. Okay, and it also supplies the pollitzes. So you have the opponents, the pollitzes muscles, you have the opponents pollitzes, you have the abductor pollitzes brevis, you have the superficial part of the flexor. Pulitzes, brevis, I'm just going to write abductor, 
and we've got the abductor pollicis brevis. Then we move on to our carpal um, tunnel D, which is delightful. We have the digital cutaneous branch, and this one is a single uh, nerve that leads to two different nerves. It's a division to the common and the proper digital branch, and these supply the lateral three and a half digits, the tips of the middle, index, and the thumb. The dorsum, the dorsum of the tips of these three fingers, and then we move on to our last one which is the motor branch of the motor innervation and that supplies quite a lot of muscles so it supplies the first and the second lumbricals of the hand then you've got um, a vascular branch that goes to the wall of the brachial artery right then they carry sympathetic fibers as well. And the superficial group of muscles would be, you can have the pronator terrorist, which we already said, it gives up over here. We have the print flexor carpi radialis. We have the palmaris longus. The flexor. Digitorum, superficialis as well, and that would be it. So you tell um, which cord it comes from, then you show its route through the arm and the branches that it gives off and what it supplies, and that would be your median nerve. Simple. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Take care, guys.